Happy Tuesday. Okay, I'm not cooking. <laughs> I'm not cooking. So here's the thing. Last night, Will Campbell asked me if ketones break a fast. So today I've gotten a whole bunch of questions about fasting, intermittent fasting, and do ketones break a fast? Hi, Wayne. How are you? So, hey, Vince, what's going on? Okay, so this is the this is the long and the short of it. It's super simple, the explanation, but it's it could get complicated and it's not a like a one straight answer. So here's my explanation. Just follow me, okay? Just follow me. <laughs> okay, so when most people are intermittent fasting, they are intermittent. It's Taco Tuesday, I know, Vince, I know. How are you, Lainey? What's going on? Okay, so this is the thing. Do ketones break your fast when you're intermittent fasting. Okay, maybe, I don't know, because everybody is different, okay? So like literally everybody is different. This is the one way you're going to know for sure, for a fact, that ketones broke your fast, okay? So what you would do is, I don't know if you guys have ever um, purchased or used a glucose monitor, it looks like this, okay? This is what a glucose monitor looks like. And then this is what a ketone monitor looks like, okay? So anyone who's doing keto, intermittent fasting, both of them at the same time, should own these little suckers, I'm just saying. Okay, these are handy little tools in your toolbox, you know, right along with your ketones. You know, if you've got ketones in your toolbox, you should have these little suckers in your toolbox too, because your blood is really the only way that you will know for sure, 1,000%, how, if you're in ketosis, how ketones affected you, how something you ate affected you. So I have been like my own personal guinea pig for like so many years now, right? So here's the thing. Okay, so when, if you wanna know if ketones break your fast, this is how you do it. So you wake up in the morning and you test your glucose. This is your glucose. So you test your glucose. Then you drink your ketones. Okay, then drink your ketones. Now, if you're drinking these ketones, these ketones should take under 60 minutes, within 60 minutes, but under 60 minutes for you to be in a full state of nutritional ketosis, okay? But remember, everybody's different. If you're drinking these ketones, these get you into ketosis a lot faster, okay? More instantly, these take up to 60 minutes, okay? So here's the thing. You wake up in the morning, you test your blood sugar, your glucose. Then you drink your ketones, okay? Then you wait a little bit of time. Then you test your blood sugar again. If your blood sugar has gone up a couple of points, the ketones broke your fast, okay? If your blood sugar doesn't go up, it stays the same. It should be like at 80 or below. If it stays the same, ketones don't break your fast. Yay! Okay, so that is how you know for a fact if ketones break a fast. So now I'm just going to take it one step further. I'm not going to complicate it. Most people, when they do intermittent fasting, this is most people. Okay. I don't want the intermittent fast police after me right now. Don't put me in intermittent fasting jail. But most people do intermittent fasting for the fat loss benefits. There's so many good things to intermittent fasting, but most people do intermittent fasting for fat loss. Same with the keto diet. Most people do the keto diet for fat loss. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the other thing, the other thing. <laughs> the other thing is this. So when you wake up in the morning, regardless of where your blood sugar is at, you are in a fasted state, right? Because you've been fasting all night long. You haven't eaten anything, right? If you go and if you're already following a ketogenic diet, right? Like a ketogenic lifestyle, you should have ketones running through your system, right? You should already have those. So if you go and drink a packet of ketones, right? That just basically means you're putting more into your system of what you already have. This isn't like eating a loaf of bread. This isn't going to raise your insulin, which is what would kick you out. Insulin raises your blood sugar which therefore takes you out of intermittent fasting, inter takes you out of a fasted state. So drinking the ketones and only the ketones with water, end of story, okay? If this in fact does 
per the glucose monitor, take you out of your fasted state, it's still, it might have taken you out of your fasted state, but it still does not kick you out of fat loss, like your fat burning mode, because you still haven't put food into your system. You have to put like, this is a guesstimate around ish, nobody really knows for sure, around at least 50 calories into your body for something to raise your insulin enough to kick you out of a fasted state, right? Or to kick you out of, yeah, that state when you wake up in the morning. So when you want, when you wake up in the morning and you're in that fasted state, that's when I tell people all the time to work out because you're already in this fasted state. That's when you should work out and you should take advantage. You should just capitalize on that. But that's a whole nother subject. So, okay. You can be out of a fasted state, but still be in a fat burning mode. Does that make sense to everybody? So regardless, if you wake up in the morning and you drink your ketones, the only way to know if the ketones broke your fast is if you test your blood with a glucose monitor, okay? And you're, what you, you're gonna test it, then you're gonna drink your ketones, then you're gonna test it again 20, 30, 40 minutes later. If it goes up, the ketones broke your fast. However, you're still in fat burning mode, but there are some humans, lots of humans, that they're gonna drink this and it's not gonna do anything to their blood sugar because you're not putting anything else in your body. You're not putting anything else. So you really have to test to know for certain. But the one thing I do know for certain is it won't take you out of a fat burning mode. And that's where you really wanna be because most people are trying to burn fat. That is the long and the short of it in a nutshell. Thank you everybody for tuning in on this fabulous Tuesday evening. I am gonna make, I think I'm gonna make calzones tonight. Keto calzones. What you think about that? Thumbs up. See you guys later. Have a great day.